There's a heck of a lot of new TV to get through these days, with hundreds of scripted shows being made every single year and everyone having a different recommendation. And yet a lot of the time something new cannot compete with something old. We've all been there, spending a night umming and ahhing over what new series to start, scrolling through the pages of Netflix and Amazon Prime and eventually deciding that, nah, I'll put something familiar on. It might have that feeling of an old comfort blanket, or it might be something that almost demands seeing again to fully appreciate. But either way, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 most rewatchable TV shows of all time. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 10, Gilmore Girls. Airing on the now-defunct WB network and centering on a mother-daughter relationship, Gilmore Girls never really got the praise it deserved at the time for its top-notch performances and whip-fast pop culture-filled dialogue. And yeah, the show does dip in quality during its seventh season, something largely put right by Netflix's revival, but up until then it is pure comfort blanket viewing, tailor-made for sitting on the couch with a very large cup of coffee. The beauty of it though lies in the bloody lovely setting of Stars Hollow, which becomes almost like a character in its own right, meaning that rewatches of the show are also a chance to revisit a place and its many weird and wonderful characters. Netflix's Year in the Life miniseries is arguably even better as the original show as well, giving the program a cinematic flair it previously never had. Number 9, Firefly. One of the reasons Firefly is so easily rewatchable is also its tragedy. There are only 14 episodes to begin with. The horribly short-lived show, which aired on Fox back in 2002, was a victim of poor scheduling and a lack of confidence, but remains one of TV's greatest sci-fi achievements. Season 2 will unfortunately never ever materialise, but rewatching the original run is helped by knowing that Serenity is waiting to tie things up in a pretty satisfactory manner. More than that though, rewatching helps to make up for the fact that this show never got the multiple seasons it deserved, and it's great spending time in such a fully formed world with an incredibly charismatic ensemble, in a show packed with action, humour and tension that never goes stale. Number 8, Breaking Bad. The greatest drama of its generation and one of the greatest of all time, Breaking Bad had everyone wondering how it would finish, but even knowing that ending, it's still worth revisiting for the journey. The propulsive nature of the plot means that it's a thrill to binge watch your way through, with every episode ending in a way that leaves you wanting to watch the next one straight away. The character arc of Walter White is so well written and performed, the drama so Shakespearean in structure that it never gets boring. Instead, on a rewatch, you pick up on the little details, and it feels very different watching, say, Season 1 Walt when you know what he'll be doing in Season 4. You can just sit back and enjoy how stunning everything is as well, from the cinematography to the acting, and unlike a lot of serialized drama, it actually works brilliantly episodically. Number 7, Arrested Development. Largely ignoring the Netflix revival, Arrested Development is one of the cleverest sitcoms ever made. And while sitcoms do tend to lend themselves to rewatches better than drama anyway, this one stands apart in why. It's not just because, well, it's hilarious, or that the Bluth family is worth spending time with, but it instead comes down to how laid the episodes actually are. From the get-go, there are moments of foreshadowing you might not even notice, repeated callbacks as well, along with gags relating to the actors' other works and various real-world events that surrounded the show. It's only on a rewatch that you can fully appreciate just how smart it is, getting to understand all the references and see how, as an example, an offhand comment about hooks in Season 1 pays off halfway through Season 2. Number 6, 30 Rock. 30 Rock never quite seems to get the attention it deserves. While contemporaries like Community, The Office and Parks and Rec are continuously lauded and mourned, there's not as much conversation centred on Tina Fey's comedy. A shame, because it's the most rewatchable of the bunch. If we're talking pure stats, one calculation from The Atlantic had the show making 7.44 jokes per minute. Others suggest it's closer to 10. Either way, it's an insane amount and comes in all kinds of ways, sight gags, pop culture references, character jokes, jokes that serve the plot, jokes that are playing off the setup from a few minutes ago, foreshadowing callbacks, and so on. 
With a joke every 8 seconds or so, you really got to be paying attention, meaning you're always likely to spot something new on a rewatch, and even if you don't, the jokes you've already spotted remain hilarious. Number 5. Seinfeld one of the most watched TV series ever made, it's probably a fair bet that Seinfeld is one of the most rewatched series ever made as well, and it's not hard to see why. The show is one of the funniest sitcoms of all time, and while the two-part finale is extremely divisive, it's still well worth sitting through the other 178 installments for some of the sharpest, most biting, and eminently quotable comedy of all time. Jerry, Elaine, Costanza, and Kramer make for a wonderfully balanced foursome who play off each other remarkably well. There are plenty of callbacks and in-jokes scattered throughout, and you're absolutely guaranteed to laugh no matter how many times you've seen it. Number 4. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Another Joss Whedon show and still the writer-director's greatest work, Buffy's greatest asset is that despite being firmly rooted in the 90s, it never really seems to age. Saving the world and surviving high school makes for a potent mix, and a relatable one at that. And yeah, while the show does have its occasional rough patches, it's never outright bad, even during the worst parts of season 6. The action is thrilling, there's genuine tension and even the occasional real scare, but most of all it's the characters that are just worth spending time with. Likewise, it's easy just to dip in and out of favourite episodes once you know it well enough, but there's drama, happiness, heartache and pure entertainment in going through the whole thing all over again. Number 3. The Wire the Wire has a strong claim to being perhaps the greatest TV show ever made, and while going through it can be a devastating experience that you might not want to repeat, it's also a beautifully human one. David Simon's greatest strength is his ability to make shows that feel like they're really about people and community, rather than quote-unquote characters. And The Wire is the best ever example of that. Everyone you meet is a complex individual, and the plots are densely packed, meaning there's always something new to unpack pack every single time you watch it. Knowing where things go means you pick up on new subtleties, relate to different characters, or better understand their decisions. You realise just how important every single frame and line of dialogue is, and how each character's actions have reverberations on others and the city itself. Number 2. The Simpsons You'll never stop re-watching The Simpsons. Yes, it hardly needs mentioning that the show started going downhill over a decade ago, and there's no suggestion here that it's worth going back over those later seasons. But the golden age, on the other hand, is an entirely different matter. The exact span of that golden period differs from person to person, but being generous, let's say seasons 2-9. to nine. In that time period, you'll get around 200 of the most outrageously funny, layered, smart, and purely great pop culture ever put on a screen of any size. The episodes are packed with hidden details, jokes you'll miss as a kid are those that go over your head entirely. The varied characters are all wonderful, and no matter how many times you see it, the best episodes just never stop being a delight. Number 1. Friends whether it's the routine rewatches that occurred on E4 in the UK, endless binges on Comedy Central, or now Netflix, there's no TV show easier to just stick on than Friends. It's the warmest, most comfortable series imaginable, but with plenty of humour to go with it. Even when you've seen the episodes multiple times, they're still rewarding, as you find yourself laughing at different parts or merely the same old jokes, relating to different characters in new ways, and quite simply, hanging out with your oldest and dearest friends. It never fails to be hilarious, sometimes touching, and always heartfelt viewing. You might put it on the background, but soon enough, you'll be sucked back in. So that's our list. Let me know down in the comments whether I've missed any shows off here. I know I no doubt have, but while you're there, please give us a like, share, a subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com if you like lists like this. As always, I've been Josh, you've been watching WhatCulture, and I'll see you soon.